welcome to our English talk show. Today, we are very honored to have invited a famous Belgian historian, artist, painter, and also author, Catherine de Doux. Right, to be on our show. Hi, Catherine. Hi, welcome. Welcome to our show. <laughs> nice good, to good. meet Thank you. you. <laughs> Same here, likewise. How are you today? Ah, oh, I'm fine. Very busy day and lovely day too. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you for, for, for coming. Uh, is this your first time here in China? No, it's my second time. Second but time? Oh. It's the first time I see many cities in China. When was that? When? It was... I uh, just arrived yesterday from uh, a trip. Oh. <laughs> so what's your impression of China here? Oh, I like people. Mm -hmm. And also I discover art. And oh. uh, I, I was um, uh, doing some art with... Mm -hmm. uh, Chinese technique that I never done and it was a big surprise but I love it and I want to come back to learn the Chinese painting. Great. So, <laughs> so you you are here this time you have brought some I know some really exciting and good news. Yes. To China, right? Can you yes. tell us what that is? Uh, good news. Uh, it's a very good news because uh, I wish you a happy museum. That means that I launched uh, this week my uh, first books in Chinese, mm -hmm. and uh, it's about 20 titles of the most uh, well-known painters uh, from uh, Europe, uh, like Monet, Van Gogh, oh, Turner, mm -hmm. Van Eyck, and many others. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I am very happy to come in China and uh, to communicate with people about my books. To meet people, children especially, teachers, arti artists, mm -hmm. and uh, many other people, and uh, I enjoy a lot uh, to speak with them. Excellent. You know, I, I also I really like the, the title, Happy Museum. You portrayed, like you mentioned, more than 20? More than uh, 85. I, 85. I, I wow. wrote 85 books. 85 yes, books. That's, that, but since 20 years. Wow, <laughs> I see, I see. Well, um, can you tell us how did this? All started. Yes, my first job was uh, 20 years ago. I was uh, working in a museum in Brussels, the Fine Arts Museum, uh, mm -hmm. and in the educative department. Mm -hmm. Then I was a guide for adults, but also for families and kids in schools. Yeah. And then I appreciate a lot uh, to to learn to teach. Sorry, mm -hmm. to teach art to kids in the museum. Oh. Like that, we can see paintings and directly to observe the paintings, to explain the paintings. Yeah. Kids can interact with paintings and we can have a, a really good, uh, in, really good uh, observation about the paintings together. Oh. Many ideas come from uh, children and children can see things that you, as adults, I cannot see anymore. Then it's really? very fresh eyes and very oh. fresh mind and uh, they like colors, they like a lot of things yeah. and, mm -hmm. and then what I did with uh, the children in the museum we went to an uh, art studio to paint like the artist or to be free to paint as an artist I see, so that's the yes. interactive activity Yes, you interactive, yes You design activity by yourself? Yes oh, <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> I so, did. so like children, they could kind of um, uh, uh, compete with the artist Right. Yes, a kind of competition <laughs> if you want, but yeah. to discover new techniques, uh -huh. uh, to discover different time, uh, like the 19th century is different from the 16th century, uh, yeah. it's very yeah. di different because uh, the world is, has changed mm -hmm. uh, for many centuries, then yes, yeah. we, you paint not like uh, four, 400 years ago, yeah. then it's interesting to see with the, the time uh, the evolution of the uh, art, art yeah. and then uh, we learn about that and we learn the new techniques too because uh, at the time of uh, 500 years ago of Leonardo da Vinci yep. we don't have all these techniques of today mm -hmm. and, but today we want to go back sometimes to the ancient art to learn mm -hmm. uh, really how to draw the proportion of the body, yes. uh, to mix colors ourselves, mm -hmm. not to just to buy a, a, a paintings in the shop. Then you, to learn how to do it's very important too. Then I yeah. try to explain that in the books and also uh, the kids can act, can be creative and can learn while having fun. Oh. And this is the point. The process of, of composing artwork, that's 
That's really uh, the composition is very mm -hmm. very important. Yeah. And also, I know uh, you know Chinese people. We like to travel around, travel abroad to, mm -hmm. to many cities and countries in Europe. Yes. One of the most visited places is museum. Yes, that's right. <laughs> right. Especially <laughs> in, in big cities like Paris, Vienna, Amsterdam. Yes. And yes. Paris, yes, I'm working with this museum. Then wow. uh, if you are not uh, able to travel uh, over there, you can have my books and see uh, what, uh, what painting is in this museum. Mm -hmm. And you can draw something like if you are in the museum. Exactly. And and once you have done that before you're going to the museum. Yes, and that's excellent. While you are in the museum, you can really Absolutely. appreciate the artwork, the paintings even Absolutely more. Absolutely yeah. right, yes. Wow, that makes me can't wait to really read your books now <laughs> to learn, learn those techniques. Yes, you can, yeah. you can uh, uh, read the book before to go, as you said, it's yeah, excellent yeah. It's preparation. It's not just oh, children, it's good. It's good also uh, for uh, adults. adults as well, Because yeah. right? <laughs> yes. I, I, personally, I never had this kind of education mm. when I was um, when I was in primary school, when I was in kindergarten, but I, I think that's something that's kind of missed in my childhood. I like to yeah, uh, make it up yes. by reading your books. <laughs> yes, it's true that adults <laughs> like it because even me, when I read my own books that yeah. I wrote uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I don't remind everything that I, I learned something, even <laughs> if I am the author. You see? I see. So, <laughs> so that's kind of um, also related to what you mentioned. Something that children can really appreciate from the painting, from the artwork, is different from what adults can get from the artwork. Yes, it's right. true. It's right. Yeah. It's do, fresh do, eyes. <laughs> because children have fresh eyes. I think that they have a, they are more free than adults. Yeah, uh, yeah. Especially if they are like three, four years old, five, uh -huh. they don't have uh, all the things that we say to children. Don't move too fast or don't do uh, that. Don't, don't, don't put the blue here. Like it's not about copying. It's mm. about to be creative. How to be a real artist? To uh, imagine yeah. your own art while having fun because you can draw it in the books. You can create something new, yes. something of your own, not yes, something someone yes. told you it's, to do. It's a uh, really uh, a good way to do it. Yes. Oh, I see. Mm. I know. I know you are also a. Uh, Painter. Can you tell us where do you often get your inspirations for your own paintings? Uh, ah, it's uh, oh. I like impressionist. I like uh, a lot uh, the Monet, Van Gogh, uh, mm -hmm. Gauguin. Uh, mm -hmm. It makes me dream. When I am in the nature, I feel so well. I ah. appreciate the beauty of, of the, the nature. nature. Mm -hmm. I think. It's so beautiful, even the, the birds singing. And then if you are in the nature, in a garden or in, a, uh, in front of a landscape, mm -hmm. you can draw something, you can sketch, uh -huh. or you can have a big canvas and have your colors mm -hmm. and paint. I do that and I enjoy a lot. And I feel uh, more close from the nature mm -hmm. and I have more emotion <laughs> and I am close to myself and with the universe. Oh. And then I can really feeling better mm -hmm. and express myself at the same time. I see. I'm also sharing this feeling of freedom with others. Yes, it's a. It's. Thing. We said in French, zenitude, the zen attitude. Oh, zen, zen, attitude. zen attitude means you are quiet in the land, in the nature, mm -hmm. and you can draw. Be concentrate on your work mm -hmm. and appreciate all the. All what all uh, what the nature is is offering you. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's really a nice feeling uh, mm -hmm. with yourself and with the universe. I, I like see. it a lot. Yes. So the quiet place, being with the nature and the universe, gives yes, you inspiration. Yes, mm -hmm. this. But you can be also in a crowd, a restaurant, and have a sketch and have noses, and you can sketch people. Because they are very interesting too. It's fun too. Oh, I see. You can do you, that. You have, also. should have this kind of curiosity, right? Yes. Uh, yes even if yes. sometimes when we're in the city, you can really get away from yes. the noisy and hustles of the city. But uh, it's also a good way to speak with, uh, as I am a stranger abroad. Uh, when I, I traveling, uh, I uh, when I travel, I I draw something, and then people come to you and say, "Oh, what are you uh, drawing?" And you you make friends. 
uh-huh. and you make uh, yes you, you make uh, some new contact and new friends mm-hmm. and uh, it's nice too to communicate with people even if you don't speak, speak the, the language, language. The body drawing, language, the, body, <laughs> the body language, and the, the art, sketch. Yeah, art is also the yes. universal language, right? Yes, we all yes, yes. can appreciate and yes. enjoy the beauty mm, of mm, it. Yes. Ah, okay, that's really also a good way. Mm. Yeah, good way to use art to yes. connect people of yes. different countries, yes. in different backgrounds yes, together. Yes, that's right. It's inter inter exchange. I mean, exactly. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, so when. Let's go back to the very beginning. When in the first place did you find your own, you know, passion for, for art? I am so lucky. I am a, a lucky woman. I, I am a lucky kid. Why? Because Why I'm born in a big house with wonderful paintings. Ah, and then, in the environment of many yes, paintings. Yes, yes, many paintings. You mean your, your parents or your siblings are? Uh, my my well. my father loved uh, paintings, and he he had many paintings in in the house. Oh. And then I'm I was fascinated, and I was looking to a sherry, and I want to eat it because <laughs> it was so well painted. It's so beautiful. And then I was trying, or the, I remember also a dog, with very aggressive dog, uh, in um, in how do you know hunt scene. Oh, hunting, hunting dog, hunting dog. Okay. and then I saw the teeth like that and was so afraid oh. it's my first memories I think it's painting oh. oh, very first... vivid painting. yes uh-huh. I was very young and after uh, when I could uh, draw something mm-hmm. uh, I drew always always, always everywhere uh, so your father... I drew on the on the wall from my family <laughs> house and my parents I was lucky because my parents said yeah you can draw oh. then I drew, I drew <laughs> all my life on on the walls and uh, on the paper. So I can imagine you're doing the, <laughs> the the walls of your house must be filled filled with uh, filled with all your paintings. Yes, and we were seven children. Can you imagine? Then all of them were all painting. No, as only well? me. Only you. Um, ah, like like that. I see. <laughs> everybody. Yes, everybody. And your painted. father was like the the teacher, the first painting teacher. No. Can we say that? My father was more like look at the paintings. Look, look at the landscape, mm-hmm. see how it's beautiful. And ah. then I think maybe it's uh, my first teacher like that. Oh, okay. Yes, <laughs> to okay. look and to appreciate. I see, then you get encouragement. From yes, your encouragement. Parents. Yes. I see. And then? Enlightenment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then I'm sure, then after that, you went to some, you know, like universities or somewhere to yes, learn I, art professionally? I, the first thing that I, I did, yes, is to, to go to the Academy of Beaux Arts, Fine Arts Academy in Brussels. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, I decided to learn more about art history. Mm-hmm. Then I went to the university, I did together the same uh, at the same time. And uh, yes, and then uh, I did, uh, I did, uh, I, I, I begin in, in the museum as a guide mm-hmm. uh, with kids. And then I was traveling, in, I was in New York. Oh. I met uh, the daughter-in-law of the French painter, Henri Matisse. Oh. And then uh, she invited me for the tea uh, in Manhattan and I saw our collection of private collection of paintings. Mm. It was so beautiful. Uh, I fall in love of each painting, and uh, we discuss about how to enlighten uh, kids to uh, Matisse. And then uh, I was also at the same time so I went to the MoMA in New York, and I saw a book for kids uh, about art. And then I decided to do when I came back uh, to my home. I decided to to do books for kids, for kids. to um, to enlighten mm-hmm. them uh, to art, and then I did Matisse, uh, uh, the the, Fr- the French painter, mm-hmm. uh, with the Museum Matisse in France, and then we did the book together, and uh, uh, it was a very nice story because I met the, the daughter-in-law, and she was very nice. I said you were lucky. So you yes, very, I was when, very you were, lucky. When, when you were very little, you, you discovered what you really what you really like. Yes, and you kind yes, of exactly. follow the right path and yes. all the way through. I wish that to wow. all the kids to yes, know yes. what 
What they like. Some people spend their whole life not knowing yeah, what they really right. like. That's, that, a, that's, that's a tragedy. A, yeah. But you are the lucky one. We shall really learn I, from I am you. lucky and I think that to know yourself is the best way to do for what you are doing. Yeah, the younger you know it, the yes. better. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. And your your books really can inspire kids. To, I hope yeah, so. It to, my to, wish. It's my wish. Especially in the artistic yes. eyes, in the you know yes. right paths if they want to choose art as the as the like, yes. career. And even what you if want to devote you in the future. Even if you don't, uh, if you choose to be a doctor or a lawyer or the prime minister, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, know a bit art, it's open your heart. It's open your imagination ah, yes, yes, and yeah. your creativity. Then you can be creative as daughter or minister or in many, lower. In, in everywhere, it's, you all want to open you exactly. to yeah. new way of thinking and to color your life too. Exactly. Makes you happy. Yes, yes. <laughs> happy museum. Spice up your life. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> well, very good. So, um, can you tell us, you know? You must have done so many um, wonderful things and also many wonderful artworks you've done. And what is the proudest moment in your, in your life or in your career so far? No. It's no. no. <laughs> <laughs> to be with you speaking with all oh, thank you. the nice people of it's, China. It's a real pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. It's thank really you. nice for me. <laughs> yeah, then we hope you can come back more. And maybe, I hope so. maybe you can tell us a bit more about Happy Museum. Um, what are some you know distinguished features of your of your book? In fact, I can say that uh, I am um, maybe not the first, but at least uh, the f one of the first <laughs> okay. uh, author who is doing a real collection, and I think it's unique mm -hmm. in the world because it's in ten languages, in wow. seventeen countries, wow. and then it's really uh, a unique collection. To, uh, to learn art while having fun mm. because you can play, you can observe, you can go to the museum mm. and it's happy, it's happy museum, it's colorful, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, a nice way and it's why happy museum is unique. Yeah. How, about, how about we take one person, one painter for example, yes, yes. what's the layout of that painter's um, by, on your, in your book, for example, let's take Van Gogh for yes, example. Yes. The famous one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, very famous in China. Yes. And there's a movie uh, ah, yeah, also yes. about him as well. Anyway, Fascinating. If you were well, really interested, and kids are really interested in Van Gogh, yes. and by reading your book, yes. what's the layout? What, what's, what are you going to teach kids, children, about Van Gogh, usually, in your book? Oh, Van Gogh is a really good artist and he, he finds his own way as an artist only at 27 years. I see, so it, that's the first part of the book, is about the history of the painter? The first, the first part, really, the first pages of the book, you mean. Okay, yeah. okay the first pages is an introduction of uh, the time, at, at, what, at the time of Van Gogh, what's happening? Ah, okay. There is electri electricity, who is the famous painter? Uh, what is, uh, what's happening at this time in his country? I see. And then it's an introduction. The, intro to, the environment to, by yes, Van Gogh was brewed up in. Yes, uh -huh. it's the environment. Mm -hmm. And then you, uh, After that? You, you learn about all his life. He's born in a family of uh, six uh, children, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, he went to the boarding school, boarding school. school. At, mm -hmm. at 11. He was very sad to leave the family. Uh -huh. And he feels really worried uh, to be alone. And it's a lonely man all his life looking for love. In fact, oh, Van Gogh is looking oh. for love. He wants to love mm. and to be loved. I and see. then he, he had a tragedy, uh, in, uh, many tragedies in, in his life. But it wa it's made him a very n good painter because he expressed himself. Mm -hmm. And he always wants to put colors in his life, oh. even if it's a hard life. Yeah, and uh, he's, he, he wants to love everyone. And you can feel it in the painting, in I the see. color. So on different stage of Van Gogh's life, he created some artwork, and yes. we could we, we could see, we could yes. feel the the feeling that he had when yes. he created those artworks. Yes, artwork. yes, because um. at the beginning he was uh, doing very dark paintings, um. and he was looking for the sun. The sun is also like the sun is the father, 
the sun is the the it's yellow. It's his yeah, favorite yeah. color, yellow, and yeah. he's, he wants to be in contact also with the sun, with the father, and mm -hmm. also with the joys because yellow is also joy, and it's very in contact with his emotions. Uh -huh. And this is very particular for from uh, Van Gogh mm -hmm. because he used a lot of color, especially the yellow. Yellow, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. So, uh, so we can read the life, the life and uh, saw the paintings at different stages of yes. Van Gogh. Yes, you see the evolution. Evolution. Yeah. Yes. Then and you also design some interactive yes. activity, exercise, then, right? Yes. For each readers. page in mm -hmm. each page you can do something, an observation, find the details of uh, the paintings. Of a famous painting, uh -huh. or you can draw also. You can color the paintings or do yourself your self portrait, mm -hmm. like Van, Van Gogh did. Ah, oh, I see. Too. Yes. To put yourself in Van Gogh's shoes, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> in his it, shoes, it, what would you like? Yes, what would you that's paint? right. That's oh, right. that's interesting. That's, okay. Yes, you're right. And uh, yes, for instance, you have the hat of Van Gogh oh, yeah, yeah, without his one. face. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and you can draw your own self portrait. But with the heart of Van Gogh, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. I'd love to try that. <laughs> this is to learn how to write having fun. Exactly, yes. yeah. So having fun reading the book, doing all the activities, yes. yes. then you can really learn Van Gogh very well. All his work and appreciate his work. I think, yes, uh, children can learn. Yeah. Yeah, guys, Why check that out if you want. <laughs> that's, that's just one about Van Gogh. Uh, yes. There are 84 yes. more. Uh, there is many, <laughs> many artists. And yeah. In Chinese, uh, there are 20 titles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go, with go, the famous yeah, go, go read the books and find out all about those um, famous painters in the world. Yeah, thank you so much for, for thank taking you so the much. interview. And we wish you all the best and looking forward to you. Uh, see you